Thank you, Eric, for that introduction. Yes, in this next section of our program, we will uh, dive into the product and look a little bit uh, about what that contains. Uh, as you mentioned, Eric, we did cover some of this in our December event, but since I suspect that some of you did not attend, then I will go over some of the content again, but we will also expand into uh, a few new areas. So today we are serving uh, the market with uh, product portfolio targeting small to medium-sized areas. And in Karin's presentation, you saw some of our products in operation today. However, in the last few years, we have been investing heavily in creating this new product family that we call Seora. So most of my content, of course, will be about the Seora here now. Uh, we did go through a few highlights, and I will repeat some of them again. We have five high highlights around the product that we will cover. Um, we are targeting with our total portfolio basically three segments, facilities, sports, and golf. But with the Seora platform, we are mainly focusing on the sports and golf. And, and we do that because they typically mean very large areas and also because these customers demand a, a perfectly cut lawn. Um, so yes, of course, we are delivering a good quality of cut and we are doing that because of our frequent mowing every day uh, and because of our razor sharp blade and the lightweight machine. Uh, but our benefits also address a lot of labor related uh, challenges uh, and, and bo both cost uh, and scarcity of labor that we heard uh, Christopher talk about and general management of labor is much reduced with our solution as there is no operator, as you know. And that goes for the safety as well. No operator, less risk of accidents. Sustainability, yes, we are, again, we have a low weight machine uh, and it's fully battery uh, powered. Uh, we draw a lot, very little energy with the solution. Uh, so of course, really good for CO2. Uh, but also we get reports that our users are needing less fertilizer uh, and of course, our product is super quiet, so that's also good for sustainability. So the five points that I went over last time were these, and I will just quickly browse through them again. Uh, the Seora product is not just a lawnmower. It is a lawnmower, but it's more. It's a versatile, multi-tool uh, product solution that offer uh, replaceable tools, you can say. Uh, it's designed for a very large area, 50,000 square meters, and that's 10 times that of our top performer today. Uh, we have equipped it with the EPOS solution. Uh, EPOS is our groundbreaking new technology that enables us to replace the physical boundary wires in the ground as means of demarking the working area for virtual wires instead. And that gives our customers a lot of benefits. It's more robust, of course, there's no wires in the ground. It enables us to do these type of jobs that you see here, uh, airification. Uh, it's also more flexible. You can change the installation from your smartphone instead of having to move wires in the ground. Temporary changes, permanent changes, all very, very easy to do. And lastly, the efficiency part, because we, are, uh, we have a precision of two to three centimeters that enables us to cover the area in a systematic parallel track fashion. And that way, of course, we can cover the area faster. So either we can cover bigger areas or get the job done in a shorter time. So fourth point is related to connectivity. Seora is, of course, fully connected. And and digitally supported. And this is important as there is no operator on the mower. And we see that this, this part of our value proposition is becoming more and more important. Already today, it's quite a significant part of our value proposition. But in the future, we see that it will become increasingly important as we're merging not over only mower-related data, but also lawn-related re data, as we heard from Stephen just now. Robustness, yes, the Seora is designed with a different level of robustness in mind compared to our existing portfolio. And regarding the ease of maintenance, we have um, designed a short movie clip that we will show you now. So what you see here, saw here at the end was the so-called service position. Inspired by our front, front riders, uh, Husqvarna front riders, we have designed the cutting deck such that it can be raised very easily for full accessibility for service maintenance, blade replacement, and cleaning. A particular focus has been given also to the design of the cutting deck to have very smooth surfaces to, to limit the risk for extensive grass buildup that has been a problem on the units uh, that we have used in this uh, context today. 
So those were the five points. Now, what about the turf quality? I said before that, that we know that this is a high demand for the target group. And, and, and what are we doing to, uh, to handle that? And before we get into cutting technology, let's spend a second on this. Uh, a good turf quality is not just about a good quality of cut, it is also about leaving a tidy lawn behind. And an issue that we have seen today, as these mowers cover a very, very large area, and particularly in damp conditions, they tend to collect uh, grass, and that falls off in clumps and doesn't look very tidy. So what we have designed uh, into the Ziora concept here is a motorized so-called active wheel brush, and that prevents grass from building up on the wheels, as you see in the left picture here, um, to avoid those clumps being left, uh, left behind. So that's an important uh, part of, of the delivering a, uh, excellent turf quality. But then getting into the, to the core of the product, the, the actual work, the cutting of the grass. Uh, as you know, there are typically three technologies on the market today. It's the traditional rotary with a heavy steel blade. It's a reel or cylinder mower. Uh, and it is our system that I call the pivoting racer here. And the traditional rotary, of course, have some very good advantages. It's fairly robust, it's low maintenance, but it also comes with some serious uh, disadvantages when you, when you think automation and, and batterification. And that's the energy consumption and the noise that they, they tend to produce. The real cylinder uh, mower, of course, the benefit of that is not even in this chart, and we'll get back to that in a second. But the big disadvantage is the maintenance, the high uh, labor-intensive maintenance to remove these type of cylinders and grind them and, and put them back again. Our solution then is really good for energy. It's a sharp blade, it's a lightweight, doesn't produce a lot of noise, it's very energy efficient. When it comes to maintenance, maybe we have a small disadvantage. The, the blades wear faster, of course, than compared to a, a rotary, but the blades are very cheap and the shift is, is quickly done, so I don't think it's a major drawback. Now, uh, in order for us to better understand how these different cutting technologies affect the different grass species and also affects on fertilization and irrigation, we have some cooperations ongoing. And you just heard Karin from Nibiu talk here before. That's a fairly new cooperation. We have a few uh, tests ongoing in the US with some universities as well. But our biggest and oldest cooperation is with the Pisa University in Tuscany, Italy. And they, that started already in 2016, and actually on their initiative, as they had an hypothesis that our cutting technology would be good for grass. And they are focusing on the warm season species, whereas Nibio then is focusing more on the cool season species. So what have we learned from, from PISA? And I've, I've picked up a few cases here uh, historically. This one is the oldest from 2016, comparing our type of mowing here called autonomous versus the traditional rotary. And here you see quality measured in three aspects. It's the turf quality, which is a subjective number, where higher number is better. It's the leaf thickness, where actually thin is better for a quality standpoint. And finally, it's the shoot density. And on all three metrics, uh, racer outperforms uh, rotary. And we have seen this for many different tests over the years. Now, maybe more interesting is this comparison against the real mower. Uh, and this test was done on Manila grass, very commonly used on, uh, on golf courses. And here they perform tests on 1.2 centimeters as well as the higher 3.4 centimeters. And here the difference is much smaller, uh, but actually Racer is better in both of these. On the 3.2 I would say about the same, but on the lower cut actually in this test we perform better. So I would say compared to Rotary, uh, and again proved by other tests as well, we do perform better. When it comes to real, I was personally a bit surprised that we are on par, and in this test actually we were slightly better, but let's say we are at least on par. And this was done on the old technology that we have on the market today, and of course we have incorporated quite a lot of learnings from these tests into the Ziora design, which is slightly tweaked uh, for an improved use. So with that I have added a fifth attribute to my comparison chart here, and here, here you see the the real, uh, the, uh, the, the big advantage of the real cylinder mower, and that is the quality of cut. And that's why the cylinder, of course, is used on top, top uh, lawn uh, qu quality demands. But interesting to see, we are on par, and we have a lot of other benefits that the other two cutting technologies are missing. So that takes me to the end, and of course, I'm quite certain that with the Ziora solution, we are able to deliver a top-notch uh, golf and sports turf.